Hi all, welcome to another Chess24 Banter Blitz. Okay, I'm just waiting for my preview screen to start. All right, here we go. So this is the uh, the premium code you'd use, the vouch code Kings Plural, plural Kings Crusher for a 15% off. You can challenge me and me or other streamers. And uh, there's also Magnus Carlsen recently, the world champion, has been a streaming uh, challenges. So if you want the opportunity to play Magnus Carlsen at some point, or other grandmasters, yeah, it's great to get this. Uh, you have to be a premium member to challenge, so make sure you become a premium member. Okay, let's see uh, the challenges now today. Cat Weasel, morning. Please let me know audio and visual if they're okay. Right, so Cat Weasel. Uh, I've got too many windows open it over here. Whoops. <laughs> Pardon me. Um Okay, is Cat Weasel ready? Uh, no okay we might have to abort this challenge uh, come back later for that um, uh, there's some windows I wanted to close over here nope not yet okay this is interesting all right so uh, a challenge here commutator Hi, commentator. Okay, let's go with E4. Ah, a modern system. Now, do I have an idea for getting an advantage here? Maybe I can use D5. Oh, it's kind of uh, hip hippopotamus set up. I think I'll commit with d5 to start off with. The black can play e5. Oh, that's interesting. He hasn't. Okay, there's frontal pressure on d6 now, though. Isn't there? Isn't that annoying? I'm also threatening bishop takes c5 here immediately, as well as queen takes d6. So I'm happy with this. I don't necessarily need any sort of kingside attack if I can grab a pawn in the center. Uh, is uh, sound visual okay? Uh, okay, A takes B or not, maybe, possibly. Yeah, it's so B4 and D6 is still attacked. Okay, uh, so B4 and D6 still attacked. If I had played knight a5, I was wondering if um, queen a5, b3, I'll be weakening my dark squares even more. Here, if there's queen a5 for bishop b2, my knight guards a3 in this position, actually, the knight. So imagine there's a, a sacrifice where bishop takes b2, king takes, I think might be safe enough. So the knight is probably quite handy on b3 maybe c3 to blunt that bishop ah okay okay then i'll i'll do this now that threat needs to be addressed okay so that blunted the diagonal now i'm still going for d6 potentially or b4 now d5 is uh sort of liberating and has been tried. Okay. Can I take this pawn to start off with? That hits that bishop. And I wonder if I can take that one after. If e4 again, bishop d4. But I'm also holding b2 now anyway. So I'm thinking e takes 
d5 next. Hmm. So e takes d5 next. Uh, let's see, is there any other considerations here? Okay, I can pin that knight. Actually, yeah, actually, actually, why didn't I take that uh, bishop? <laughs> I was going to take the bishop and I didn't take the bishop. Oh, that was clever. Okay. <laughs> let's, let's, let's try and stay on the ball here. Okay, I'll try and stay on the ball. <laughs> <laughs> oh crikey oh crikey i was wondering that move seemed really good i was wondering <laughs> all right yeah try and wake up try and wake up okay oh crikey all right uh yeah so there's a lot of work to do still now. Unless that was a magical gambit of a piece. Uh, I should have taken that piece. But anyway, uh, let's do this. And this for knight f5. Or queen a3. See, I was, <laughs> I'm burdened. I, I, unfortunately, I didn't close my windows earlier, and I, I, I feel a bit distracted at the moment. I'm, I'm going to try and try and get back to the, the ball position soon. I hope. Okay, so um, Queen B4 or C4 or Knight F5. Knight F5 might have something going for it. Uh, although I don't want to open up this diagonal particularly. Ah, uh, okay. What about Bishop B four for starters? No, hang on. Uh, okay, what about this? Okay, I'll do this. Knight E three. Okay, get my queen out of the firing line somewhere. Get the knight to c4. Maybe, okay, I have to reinforce. This is starting to look dangerous. Sure. Uh, that bishop might be a tactical liability in its own right on the bright side of this. So, knight c3 is out of the question, surely. Um. E4 when it's starting to get really dangerous. Hmm. If I take and then C3, there's a storm brewing, isn't there? Maybe rook c1 just to calm things down, exchange sack. Before I get absolutely slaughtered. Try and calm things down, remove. Ah, oh, gold. Uh oh. Ah, <laughs> uh, that doesn't calm anything down. Okay. 
Can I just take that? I hope. <laughs> oh boy. What a game. E5. So there's a general rule for the defensive player. Just try and get rid of the <laughs> attacking pieces where possible. Uh, is one rule I picked up on. Uh, but here, oh my god. What have I done now? Uh, there's no C3 check there. <laughs> oh, again. Again, this is hilarious. Okay, I'm about to lose very, very quickly now this position. Oh boy. I, I need to find a defensive resource here. And it doesn't kind of exist, unfortunately. Um, B4. Oh my god. Queen sack time. Oh. I don't know what to say about that. That was just horrendous. Yeah. I, I was hoping we would spot knight c3. I just don't know what to do in that position. My... Oh, that was horror. That was a horror on the chessboard. So I thought this was mysterious, giving up the rook. And yeah, this is very, very serious. This queen takes g2. Just, I just wasn't with this game. I, I, I don't know what to do here. I don't know what to do about this. This is just... This looks difficult. I have to slow motion, like, get out of... The <laughs> okay. All right, yeah. Okay. <laughs> well played, well played. G great attacking uh, ferocity there. I was a punch bag in the end. <laughs> so King's Engine Vincetto variation. Ah, with E four, I can play E five. Take him for that diagonal. I mean, so a five, bishop d seven, b six might be safe enough here. A five, stop b four, h six, king h seven for f five. Or is there some horrible tactic with bishop takes and then d6? No, he would have to open up that whole diagonal. I think f5 is still on the cards. That looks okay, surely. Fred thing knight takes and then bishop d4 potentially. I think knight d4 is still desirable. Maybe even get the queens off here, weaken the dark squares. On knight e4, I suppose there's king h6. There's no bishop e3 for the moment. I think it'll be awkward to try and hit that because of check. If um, I hope it's awkward anyway, or is it not? Okay, I can go for bishop 
d4 on bishop e3 oh, i have to take on f1 this isn't all right Oh, what have I done? Okay, okay. Um, I better take this off while I. Ah, oh, is it good to take that off or not? Ah, oh, maybe here. Yeah. Oh no, is that knight stranded? <laughs> I'm not going to have a stranded knight soon. I should have taken on g2 now. I'm thinking I should have taken on g2. This is bishop f2 now imminent. Try and keep this rook active if I can. Oh, at least that's something. Taken like a free. Or maybe there's. Okay, so bishop e5 for knight f3 potentially, or rook check. And try and do something with this knight. Maybe I should just take that off while I can. Okay. Is there a rook h8 here? I wonder. If rook h1, bishop g4. So rook h8. Hmm. Okay. Rook h8. I'm hoping I'm back in the game. Let's check. All right. Rook E three check. Uh, coming up. No. Let's go back. Yeah. Let's hit a two again. A three is also of interest. Um, this looks like a nice central bishop position. All right, so g five for bishop e eight to g six. I'm wondering about that. Is that too dangerous? If knight e four, bishop f four. Maybe bishop f4 is, oh crikey, there's h4. No, there isn't. Bishop takes g4. All right, so I get this bishop g6. I want to get this reroute, bishop g6. Well, there is knight f5. Okay. Alright, that supports G five. Um Right. Okay. How is this ending if I took King G seven, King F six? Dark squares seem good. The play on. Right, get this far. Trying to infiltrate my king. K 
king takes f5. Coming up. Oh, he's not letting me alone on here. Okay, I want king takes f5. Potentially, nope. Okay. If we'll try it over here. Oh. Right. Okay, can I get, get grab this pawn or not not bother? Maybe over here. Keep over here. King A3, D3. Right, so D3, I don't think he'd sack just yet, would he? Just in case I can play King A3 more safe, perhaps. Ah, no, 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 okay. Go away from my pawn. <laughs> not very convincing again okay ah uh, thanks thanks no 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 I, I need to try and wake up on this session <laughs> I need to try and wake up on this session okay okay all right uh well played uh yeah that was a, that was gonna be um th yeah the ending maybe was okay on the dark squares because the active king, uh, it looks promising to be the active king. In the king's engine or other engine systems, the dark square end games are usually quite good for black, for the king. If nothing else, if nothing happens during the middle game, the dark square endings, because uh, pawns are on light squares for white, the king's infiltrating quite often on dark squares in the end games, making them sometimes a bit of torture. Right, I can wait for um, knight f4, yeah, because queen e3, knight g2. This is a little trap that's. I've used actually with some success quite often. Uh okay. I'm wondering G five G is that too dangerous? My H file. G five for G four is that really, really silly. Let's get this rook out there. <coughs> So B five B five Try and get some um A file play here. Oh or B file play Bishop uh, so rook b8 and bishop d7 or oh, hang on a sec c5 and queen a5 might be interesting as well uh, I'll start with this maybe queen b8 okay queen b8 an idea uh, h4 h5 queen b8 queen b4 queen b8 bishop b5 On g4 there's knight f4, on h4 there's maybe knight g4. My plan might be queen b8 and bishop b5 here. Bishop b5 coming up. Uh, is that constructive? Bishop b5, if he took, took. Um, 
right can I just put pressure on okay change the plan here a bit this e file instead Oh, there's a night g4 basic fork there okay i think i'll grab that exchange now how to deal with this attack mm. maybe rook g8 start off with this g file could be dangerous g7 Queen D eight Queen E seven Queen D eight Queen E seven. Is there anything after that? Okay, uh Right, Queen D A or A five, make or Bishop B five. Can I play Bishop B five actually for a moment? Let's try and activate the rook. A <clears throat> five A B. Okay, so all right, G six. I'll get mated. Try and avoid that. Queen D eight. Oh, I'm not getting made. I can take and then Rook G seven, uh, but it is getting close to being mated because of Queen D four. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. I I don't want to be mated too quickly. Okay. So Queen D eight. H G Rook G seven. I've got H seven's handled by the knight. Somehow. Okay, f6, putting the barriers on the diagonal for queen d4. hg, rook g7, queen d4, f6. Queen d, hg, rook g7, queen d4, f6. To unpin f6. Okay. Otherwise, rook g2 is getting dangerous, very dangerous. So here, knight d7, maybe. Knight d7, queen e7. Knight d7, queen d7. Uh, knight d7, queen e7. Right. Maybe I can... Take take queen d six. Maybe that's okay. Queen d six. Actually, okay, I'm on the rook as well. So, uh, right. Knight g6 to e5 soon. If I play this check, because king b1, there's rook g1. Does this lead anywhere? Probably not. Okay, it doesn't. All right. Um, I need to improve my knight. Knight g6 to e5. I should have taken out that pawn ready when the rook was on a8. Uh, <sighs> okay. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, what do I 
doing? Uh, all right, okay. Knight takes d6. Now threatens knight f7 because of the way I played this. And there's knight f5 check on king g7. That's nice. What about king g8 then by elimination? Check. Is there anything? Try and make the two work somehow. So these pawns are potentially winning. Try and blockade the pawns. Take off a knight. Give me a rook, but these pawns are still dangerous. Okay, thanks. Um, thanks. Evans Gambit. Okay, uh, yeah. If you want, like, send the challenges. Challenges are welcome. I'm pretty sleepy today. For some reason I thought I had a reasonable night's sleep but I don't know I don't remember doing anything too terrible but yeah I, I, I clearly uh, I'm I'm beatable today so send your challenges uh, it's a good time Preserve this bishop on knight a5. Move the bishop to c2. This is a classic knight maneuver. Right, if I have an f uh, g file later with knight f5, that might be fun. I don't want to weaken uh, B2 particularly. So what about if I did this for a moment? Well, H6 later, Bishop G5, is that? Okay, in the meantime, King H2, Rook G1, Knight F5. King H2, Rook G1, Knight F5, trying to open up this G file. Oh, I see D5, there's gonna be a problem. Should I fix the center? I wonder. Maybe I should. Yeah, this d5 looked good actually. I don't want that d5. Can I get the g file? Bishop b3 and somewhere. That looks as though it adds some solidity of some sort to the position. Maybe this. Stop a4. Bishop b5 and a4. Is there any d5 then to worry about? If I play bishop b5 and. If I take that off, how will the dark squares be like that? Yeah, I think I'm just going to take that off. I can take on a5. Now that pawn, is it worth taking? Maybe. Queen d2, a4. Aha. Uh -huh. I'll try and go back to base. Um, this bishop, where does it need to be? Queen e2, bishop d2, a4, a5 plan. Maybe. Queen e2, bishop d2. Okay, g takes is uh, threatened. 
Um, okay. G file was something I thought would be good to grab. H5 is now liability. Alright, so this is starting to look okay. My other rock will be handy for the attack. Bishop h6 or queen h8. Is bishop h6 any good? G takes, queen takes, king e8, rook g7. What about just queen h7? Isn't that simple and strong? For rook takes and then bishop h6, isn't this simple and strong? For rook takes g7 and bishop h6. So queen g8, rook takes g7 here is winning another pawn. Because if queen takes, there's bishop h6. Alright. So I've got these outside past pawns to start pushing. Can I undouble these to start off with? There's bishop e3 for some simplification. Here for rook b7. There's rook b6 for rook d6 or rook f6. Let's try and win another pawn with rook f6. Or rook d6. Or rook e6. Okay, so here. There is rook d6 or bishop c5. There's a check. Okay, that's an annoying check. Can't just take, let him have the check. All right, so takes. If I protect b2 here, uh, and then rook d2, and then move my king, uh, that should be a winning ending. Surely my h pawn, c pawn, and a pawn are all passed. Rook a3, rook d2. Now, surely he's overloaded here. This h pawn needs to be attended to, surely. Aha. Uh -huh. I can indirectly defend with this rook f3 if takes. King b4, king, all right, so king here, we'll protect that. Mm. I don't want to lose d3. All right, rook h3 is possible, or h6, king h5. One, two, three, but okay, he has to get the king out of the way. Um, right, so there's king g6 for h7. Right, h7 is incoming. Thanks for the game. Yeah, that was uh, that was tough there. Thanks. Um, all right. Uh, any other challenges coming up? Send your challenges. Yeah, challenges welcome. Or rematch. Okay. One second. Two elephants. Three elephants. Four elephants, five elephants, six elephants, seven elephants. Okay, we've got a game here. Excellent. Hmm. 
Okay, I'm going to play for d5. Try and provoke some weaknesses. Bishop G6, incoming uh, Bishop G6. Right. We all take that now. Maybe F5 and Knight E6 is an idea. Five and light e six seems to be okay. Well, I thought it was pretty safe. I'll throw in rook b eight here. I think. There's queen h three. Oh, there's knight f three. Queen takes f four though. So that's maybe a nuisance move, Queen H4, looking at the dark squares. Maybe even Bishop F2, Knight F3. Bishop F2 here. No, 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 no. Okay. I think this one. Taking them bishop d6, there's knight f3. Is that? Hmm. Do I get that back? Queen f6, rookie one. Has it always got the check? Okay. Um. Or bishop d6 here for rook e1 if knight f3. Oh. Oh, I don't know. Looks a bit risky this rook e5. Well, it's worth calculating or not. No, 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 let's not use the <laughs> use too much time. Um Oh come on, come on. Rookie eight. I suppose F six. Is it queen f4? Is this some sort of annoyance or g5 or f6? What is that? It gives me bishop d6. Essentially. For queen f4, that would be dangerous. Okay, ah. Uh, Mm, doesn't look right now. Can I deflect the queen away from anywhere? Um, the 
check or C takes. Let me check. No, there isn't. I'm dreaming. Uh, there's Queen here. Hold on. Oh, Queen U3. Oh, Knight takes is winning, I think, because of Queen 8 8 check there. Um. H4 for Queen D2. Queen D2. H4 for Queen D2. Okay, maybe this. There's a Queen C1 on Rook A7. This d5, I can get a rook to d1 later. How is that possible? Can I try this? Bishop f4, is that possible? Oh, there's that. I just managed to lose a piece there with that move. Yeah, that's gone. Okay, well played. Okay. Uh, Ash again. Okay. Rematch with Ash. All challenges welcome today. So challenges welcome. And there's Ash around. <laughs> okay, I'm running out of challenges. Uh Okay, I might have to have bought this. One elephant, two elephants, three elephants, four elephants, five elephants. Um, Alright. Uh, hmm. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay, I'm going to have bought this. Uh, okay, any challenges from premium members? Any challenges? Uh, is there a, I think, unfortunately, I think there's a collision today um, as well. Let me win. I have to decline that from non premium, I'm afraid. So, bottling system. <clears throat> so, knight g e two d three. D three and if I castle. D three castle. F4, G4, like G3, that sort of plan. So 
so f4 f5 g4 knight g3 and get the queen out of harm's way there i mean the king out of harm's way of the queen so f4 f5 I'll play this anyway here. Yeah. Hmm. Knight G three F five. Certainly good. F5 for bishop g5. Then taking on f6 and then knight d5. Let's uh, see this. Bishop g5, bishop f6, knight d5. Now hang on a sec. b2. What about b3 first? Then bishop g5. <clears throat> b3, bishop g5. A4 to stop A4, okay. Maybe Knight B5, different plan. Knight B5, try and stop this kind of play on the queen side. Maybe that's more to the point. Ah. Uh, Queen C2 for Rook B3. Queen C2. I don't like my dark squares particularly. Rook B3 for Knight B5. Yeah, my dark squares. Yeah. This isn't great. Rook B3, Knight B5. Maybe knight b5. Queen c3, there's bishop g7. Right. Uh, queen f2, queen f3. Hmm. Queen on F two Ah, okay. Is there is there bishop H four? Is that a consideration? Okay, so Queen F two Queen F three. I'll put this king away from the dark square. Queen, okay. Queen f3, knight e2 to f4. Does that actually do anything? Maybe this rook could be improved. I get ready to try and improve this rook. So when does that rook want to go? Maybe I want to use this semi-open G file. Queen F3 or Bishop F3. Maybe maybe Bishop F3 and then Okay. Um Queen F3 here. Yeah. Trying to hold on to uh no, I don't want that E file to open up. Maybe this is a lesser evil just to open up F file. Because I don't this E file opening up it seems delicate. Can I threaten immediately H4? No. 
Queen G3. There's Knight H5. But there's maybe check. Things use too much time here in this game. Actually, as well on a practical note. Let's get my king out of, try and get my king out of harm's way again. Double the rooks, if possible, to can say here. Yeah, it's time, that time slipped too much there. Uh, quite a strategical position um, for a while. Ash, are we, are we playing now, Ash, again? Right, try that King's Engine, I think, again. Um, so, ninety seven and oh, slightly different than before, actually. Okay. Can I encourage something with a D pawn? Like, because I don't want to leave myself with a backward pawn. Uh, And so interesting. I think I've seen something like this before at some point. Oh, okay, can I take that? Now we're getting really interesting. Knight e5, there's f4, I suppose, c4 check, and then knight d3. c4 and knight d3. H6, knight goes back, maybe E5 there. Hmm, knight C7 to D5. Maybe that lets me play um, Bishop d7, connect the rooks. Ooh, okay, knight d5, bishop d7. Knight d5, bishop d7, is that a plan? Rook a d8. Yeah, I guess. All right, is there Queen B five here? So I think I want to play Knight D five. Right. So my Knight is loose. There is it. Um. On. D3. If I played H6, does that help? Bishop D7, no. B7, okay, B6 just to hold the uh, B file against Rook B7 later. So BC, Queen takes C4. Maybe also bishop a6. If that knight wasn't on e6, so h6, bishop a6 then helps. With I mean h6 helps bishop a6. Except there's knight d4 there as well. Right, is, that, is that bishop a6 here? Knight d6 kind of trapping my queen. If I give my queen a reverse gear with c5. Knight d6. And there's queen. Queen here. Bishop a6. Still have things like knight 
B4, wouldn't they? Oh, this is getting nasty. Okay, if I lose the exchange, the light squares are a bit weak. I hope. Right, so there's queen a2 here. There's a4 and d2 are vulnerable. Is this something like, like Queen D five? Or is it any better? Queen D five for a moment. Stay on this diagonal or not? So, okay. Knight b4 might be plausible because it takes them on c3. I don't want to lose a7 and then b6, particularly. Uh, Sympathies. We've only got bishop takes f1 on rook takes b4. Rook takes b4, this bishop takes f1 anyway. Right, let's just get in a tempo again. And then a5, try and play for a5 to shield b6. Okay, it's not happening. g5. h5. But h4. D8 Muppets. Did I just miss Rook D? Ah, oh, Rook D8 was probably good. Ah, oh. Isn't that rook f1? Uh, I don't know if that's too slow because of the past pawn though. Uh, is rook f1 queen f3 for rook h1? I'm just giving back the queen. Uh. 
Does he want to draw? Okay. Yeah, tough one. Okay. Oh, well played. Well played. Exciting game. Okay. Uh, system failure. Let's go here. This is a three minute game. So queen e2 and knight e5. Knight f3. Uh, and then castle. I expect, oh, hang on, a4, a5 first, because this looks dangerous for c6. It still looks an idea to play for C6. C6 is vulnerable. Can I play Queen A6? Is that really more dangerous than taking on E5? I wonder. Queen a6 here it takes and they'll be discovered. Queening, etc. Queen a6 looks pretty dangerous. I'm trying to make every move counts rather than a recapture. I know it's just a three-minute game, and usually you would just do automatic recaptures, but it's that much bigger downside there. Just taking this pawn rather than taking that bishop. Surely, if a7 can't be protected, then uh, that looks very, very dangerous. Hmm. <clears throat> And take here, threatening b8, queening. I'll take now. Maybe bishop takes and then bishop e3. Bishop takes and bishop e3. Okay, check. Alright, take out this very good piece. Oh, there's rook a8 potentially. Hang on. Maybe it takes on. Oh, no, 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 no. <clears throat> oh, queen sack. Two pieces. Bishop f4 here for 96. Try and get rid of this bishop. I 
Okay, I've got knight f1, f check. Okay, g4. That was exciting. I uh, don't know what was really going on there. <laughs> okay, after rook a8, yeah, and it seems as though that was back in the game for black. Uh, right. Let's play King's Gambit here, spice things up. Yeah, that was uh, <laughs> that was something that game, a three minute game. Huh? <sighs> Chaos. I'm going to be greedy because it's like a center pawn. Take on F four. Well, let's just take on F four. Okay, okay. Anyway, maybe there's some perks to this. Knight C three, D five, Knight D four, D five. I'm just wondering about knight d4 and bishop c It's not quite yet the idea of knight. I hope it doesn't exist yet. Okay. Uh, d5 coming up. Okay, now it does. Let's get the king off this tactic for knight d4, bishop c5. So d5, the knight d4. Is that even if that, that would hit that um, pawn? So, okay, here I could play knight d4 on knight takes. Or bishop takes. What's wrong with bishop takes? Knight takes f is on my bishop. Bishop takes. I'm on his bishop. bishop oh, maybe I'm okay after that. <laughs> bishop f4, knight takes, bishop takes, bishop takes, rook takes, bishop takes, rook takes. Is it, do I do something simpler here? Or, or knight d4? Nah, go for it. Maybe there's. Uh, yeah, okay. There is knight c4, isn't there? Okay. Queen D four here. There's knight E three. There is knight E three. If I just challenge the E file for a moment. This back row looks a bit vulnerable. But can I don't know if he can take on b2. There's maybe there's knight b5. Hitting the queen, hitting b2. For a moment though, the back row seems vulnerable. Oh, it's two pieces on e8 uh, at the moment. That could change. My back row is vulnerable. How about b3 anyway? Knight a four. That's knight b six on b five. We'll just leave it with no g three. Is g three a terrible move? If I play g three, 
King G2. Right. No. Knight A4 here. Knight B6. Is that knight just stranded? Hmm. I'm at rookie free for a moment. So knight c5, yeah. H. Oh. Hmm. This bishop. Can I do something with this bishop? <laughs> ah, need a plan. Need a plan. Bishop d1, bishop e2. I need some sort of plan here. Black's got a nice blockading position. Hmm. <laughs> Um Ah oh, kick it, I'll kick it. Maybe uh A three just for a moment. A three Right. And try and sort out my king. Oh there's rook C four. Queen D two. Rook c4, queen d, it's not very nice, is it? Uh, queen d2, okay. Queen c7, maybe there's d6 on queen c7. Queen c8 threatens. Oh, well, let's see. Knight e2 to f4. Does that do anything? Knight e2 to f4. Alright, it wouldn't really go into this pin, would he? Knight takes d5. Oh, it's check over there. Maybe rook take rook d3, rook d3, rook d3. Knight takes d5, rook d3. Not knight f4. Knight takes e3 is check. All right. Oh, hang on. So knight c4 is threatened. Okay. Get out of that in advance. Can you just get the queens off here? Try and simplify. Try and liberate this d pawn on blockade. D6. Not yet. G4. There's knight e2 to d4 to c6 on any um. Knight d5, knight c6, and bishop c6, knight e7 check. So I'm thinking knight d4. As knight takes to knight f4 check though. Let's get the king out of there for that. Knight d4 for knight c6. Right, it was also knight f5 for a tactic on with knight e7. Knight f5. Alright, so there's bishop d5, rook d5, knight e7. There's ninety seven here, straight off the bat then in that case. Alright, yeah, it's getting tough. It's tough today. Oof. <clears throat> okay. Uh lots of challenges. Uh a three minute game. Uh Streaming tool about one. Uh, no, we've had a flood of challenges now. <laughs> um, so I don't know. Uh, one elephant, two elephants, three elephants, four elephants, five elephants, six elephants, seven elephants, eight elephants, nine elephants. I'm gonna have to abort this. It's a big queue. Okay, I'm gonna have to abort this another time. Okay, five colour wood. Uh, is it five colours of wood? Tell me. Is it? They all look the same colour to me. Okay, uh, on this screen anyway.
so this is one of my favorite openings at the moment I just love the dark square play and the attack potential if white castles too early there's things like knight h4 to consider As immediately uh, also there's knight f2 so knight h4 looks very very dangerous here this is a gigantic point scorer for me in especially bullet chess this whole opening so it was introduced by my friend Paul Georgiou and uh, yeah because I thought what's going on here this weird Nimzovich thing tango as I later found it was called uh, creates a lot of dark square play for black yeah that was a quick knockout there f2 is a big problem h2 is a big problem it's uh, it's looking like a disaster if rook moves check and then mating that's a disaster okay thanks for the game there let me win with play before for a moment let's play Kazas change the order here uh, I'm not sure we played Sarkis or whatever Sarkis earlier so give Sarkis a game for a moment So again, this tango dot square play. But I've had a couple of knocks in over the board chest, which I haven't yet commented on on YouTube. Yeah, it's not all wonderful in over the board uh, against really strong players. Yeah, there's lots of different systems, which, yeah, it's not that great. It seems more of a points winner in online for me. Uh now I did have a game like this over the board, yeah, similar to this though recently. Uh, so I'm wondering if I can use some of the same ideas. It does give up G5, H5, uh, but this could be really quite dangerous for white, castling into it like this here. Put the queen mat there. Now, this is the consideration to make about taking on e3 might actually be good. Uh, there's even knight f4 after and g5. I think I will take. So this g5 over that pawn pins, it's already a positional concession from white. But also, I'm wondering, g5, g4 looks pretty dangerous. So taking time to unpin. Now here, if I just play knight g6 for a moment. So g4 is incoming as a sort of, okay, my f pawn is uh, I'm not sure taking is good because I'm protecting the knight I've got king d8 if he wants queen f7 I thought it was on sound anyway find out alright isn't there like there's a few things I can do as well uh, soon knight h4 here seems pretty good is there any problem with knight h4 dragging the rook down to back to f2 because of the mate threat so there's bishop e3 after bishop f4 and then queen g3 so rook f2, there's bishop e3. Rook e2, there's bishop f4 for queen g3. Doesn't really want the queens off, surely. I'd take on e3 anyway after the queens come off. All oh, right, okay. So bishop takes e3. Gives me bishop d4 as a threat, doesn't it? Isn't there bishop f4 and if... Oh, the opponent's disconnected. Okay. Or is it me? 
Has my connection gone? I think rook f1, bishop f4, g3, that was king e7, because the rook's trapped. Am I, am I still here? I don't know. Well, I hope it's... I put high and it's the chat is there, high. Hmm. Okay. Oh. All right. So uh, back king e7. There's rook f1, bishop f4, I dare. So at least get some material again. So the exchange up, anyway. I grab this h3 in any case. For bishop g2 or f2. All right. Gonna do this to get the thing off. Oh, there's gonna be trouble over that. Okay. his check king f7 as long as yeah the pieces have to be on different colors to avoid being forked if you keep the pieces on different colors okay the general rule uh, oh, I've ma managed to make a lot of work for this game now okay check Created a lot of work for this game. If you don't want to be fault, because the knight forks are against the same color, and that's worth remembering. And blitz. Uh so <laughs> I'm trying. Okay, white, black, white, black away from the knight. Um, but I'm losing all my pawns. That's another consideration here. White, black. They can't be forked. White, black. Can't be forked. Just yet. I hope. <laughs> I've got the outside pass pawn. Alright, so C7 is really dangerous. They're both on white squares now. Uh oh. Okay. Yeah, I think I've blown this really well and truly. Yeah, it came back in that. All right, uh, okay. Uh, I think that's it. That's uh, it today. We'll play coming back there. Um, yeah, if we if we go to the let's have a look at the voucher code screen again. So if you if you want fifteen percent off, there's the voucher code Kings Crusher. If you want to use that, uh, challenge me on what other streamers, and uh, that includes Megan's Colson recently, uh, as well as Grandmasters. 
so batch code there okay uh thanks very much have a nice uh sunday etc see you next time okay cheers then